What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we're in a really unique location. We're gonna have to keep it quiet while we're here because we're in an active marina. Today we're exploring another abandoned ghost ship. I've done one before, that was the floating hospital. Now we're back inside of another one. This is a casino boat. All people would come, take trips out on the water, play casino games, dance, everything you would do at a casino or a ballroom. You came here and you did it on the water, which is pretty damn cool. Other than that, the history, the remaining history of it, it's gonna be a little bit low key because we wanna keep this a pristine location because right now there's no vandalism. This place is pretty damn cool and it's like walking back in time to a different age. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, leave a thumbs up and let's check it out. This is like the lobby. Check out this woodwork on the staircase. I gotta remind you guys, we're on a boat. And the moldings on this are serious, beautiful work. Got some old phone booths here, of course removed, but pretty awesome. It's ironic, they put a uh, gambling addiction thing in a casino. Here we would have the elevator and coat rack. Okay, this is the the coat room. Wow, there's a bunch of cobwebs here. People have not been here at all. Here we have the conveyor controls. Also have an old monitor system, old computer. There's so many cobwebs in here, I feel my legs just getting covered with them. But we also have brochures left here of the place. These are just instructional pamphlets to how to play some of the games. I guess they'd hand these out to some people if they didn't know. It's also pretty awesome that this little office here is just completely swallowed with pipes. Very weird setup. But you do what you gotta do on a boat, I suppose. The Enter Funment Club. Oh, 
Oh, we have another office over there. You can see the old monitor. Let's check it out. Oh. Gonna ignore that, I think, or try to. This was someone's office here. Take a look behind the interfundment center. Beautiful architecture for a ship, all the woodwork, chandeliers. This would be like the main desk, I suppose, where you'd get your tokens or exchange cash for. Still have a casino token left behind too, just one. Cool that it's still here though. Pretty cool. This is so makeshift, but it actually looks good. They just put little wooden columns underneath the, the arc right here. It's ghetto rigged, but it actually makes it look cool. And this, I believe, was probably like a dance hall or something like that. I don't know, maybe food. But it's seriously beautiful. Looks like we're in a wedding hall. Still don't know why there's so many wheelchairs on here. I guess there's a lot of disabled people going gambling. Wow. Seriously love all the time put out into this boat. Looks like we got a bee's nest. It's old though because we're in the summer months right now and I'm not getting stung, so, and I don't hear anything. Lucky for us. And so there'd be games up here actually. They've all been removed though. It would've been so cool if they were still left behind. You can maybe even see the imprint of a bar or just a giant poker table, who knows? Probably, probably a bar, I see electronic stuff on the floor.
2007 it was last inspected. For some reason this room is like emotional. The flowers, the furniture. You could just imagine someone sitting here and she's been sitting vacant for years. This might have been the security office. It has a uh, padlock or code to get in. All paper slips for members, I guess. Has people's has people's addresses and emails and everything. They'd probably sign up for prizes. Can't believe all is still here. Now this hallway we're in right now is completely slanted this way. I don't know if it's even visible on camera, but the boat is definitely favoring the right side. So I'm gonna keep as close to the left as I can. Put nice wooden windows here. Got the old freezer too. Looks like they stripped everything out of the kitchen. Usually that's the one place they don't take from. But I guess I'm guess it's good that they were reused potentially. Oh shit. I don't know if I trust it. <laughs> cool little catwalk. Oh, these are... We could open this, um, the skylight up there with those. I don't know if I trust this though. It's been rusting a long time in here. Got the bathrooms here. I'll take a quick peek in here. Still pretty clean. Oh wow, it's really rusted. I'm just gonna look out here. Oh wow, it's really rusted right there. I could see right through. Doesn't look like I'll be going up, at least from right there.
We got a spotlight right there. It's pretty cool. Wow. So this is the top. I think they'd maybe steer it from here. Maybe not. Got some security stuff though. Okay, this was a security office. These are probably security tapes for sure then. Surveillance. That's really cool. They left a bunch of stuff here. Trespass card. Really nice chair in here, too. Even floppy disks. They went through all different stages of uh, files as far as floppy disks, CDs, and VHS. This place was active throughout everything. These are probably security. They were trying to take pictures of people, probably, that owed debts, maybe. Nothing. Okay. Well, we did the whole main level. Only thing else to explore is the basement engine room. We have the music selection still here, so that would be on repeat. It smells like oil in here. in here. Gotta watch my head. And this is just wood. It's like a workshop area though. There's something there. Either a piston or an engine, I can't really tell at the moment. Someone will know, leave a comment. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. The ship was awesome, it was pretty cool. We're at another ghost ship that's behind me. It's pretty cool, but can't really get on, uh, inside of it. It's too far in the water unless we wanna get wet or climb a rope, but this one's falling apart anyway. If you enjoy, leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.